the power of the dark side, 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 side. Hey everyone, TJ Clashcraft here, and it's been I think two weeks since I've recorded or found the time to record, so I apologize for that ahead of time, you guys. Um, been very really busy lately. Today I want to bring you some Clash of Clans, and um, and then maybe I'm going to I, not maybe I'm going to record about four or five videos tonight, and then that way I can produce one video per night, and hopefully in the next five days I can also record some videos, and so that way I can get some videos. Um, posted back to back um, every day, and that might help with uh, with my videoing, uh, my videotaping. Um, I do want to produce this Clash of Clans video though, and so um, here's my Clash of Clans base right now. Um, it is Builder Hall 4. I don't want to go to Builder Hall 5 until after I've completely maxed out um, Builder Hall 4. I even want to max out the walls. Um, I, I know that's a little strange, but I think I might be able to do it with how much um, elixir I can spend places. Um, I'll, I'll get the walls as high as I can um, before I start to max out my gold. and then Or not my gold, but my elixir. And if I start maxing out my elixir somewhere, then I'm just going to go to Builder Hall 5. And that way we won't um, waste full resources because uh, we don't want to do that. Um, just a... Uh, quickly show you guys this is my town hall 9 um, not my builder hall um, I'm working on making it a max town hall 9 um, I want to get my he heroes up to level 30 before I go to town hall 10 I haven't done uh, much in wars um, I wanted to uh, get involved with the war recently but uh, my kids out decided to go to Texas and so I decided not to uh, not to um, get involved in a war uh, these last two weeks and so my uh, my kids are now with their grandparents in Texas and let's see here my wife's still here though obviously um, we've actually had a good time the last two days because they've been gone for two or three days and we've uh, we've actually uh, spent a lot more time together so it's been nice uh, having the kids out of the house um, I uh, let's go ahead and hop into a battle um, real quick and so I've gotten high enough in my trophies. I was 2,000, but I just kept running into uh, Builder Hall 5s, and it was really outmatched for me to go against all those Builder Hall 5s. Um, so I like taking in 6 Giants and 12 Archers against the Builder Hall 4s. Um, it seems to be a really good setup. Uh, the Archers, they uh, kind of are the uh, backbone, and then the Giants just get in there and be the meat bodies and so let's go ahead and take out this freebie uh, right there um, that looks like it might be a freebie as well and then that looks like it might be a freebie and then what I'm thinking is let's go ahead and place our giants I was thinking there would be a spring trap there I was a little worried about that I want to take out that archer tower before it does too much damage since it is set on fast attack. I did not think about that crusher being where it was, so I should have actually looked, but maybe we'll get it taken down. Uh, nope, it's going to destroy our push, but at least we'll get a two star. So um, that was my fault. Um, I was too busy talking and not paying attention to where the crusher was. But we got a two star, um, 60%, and that should be enough for a victory with, um, with my experience going against the Builder Hall 4s. Um, but let's see what um, happens here, see if he's still attacking or not. Um, so he's still attacking. But anyways, um, I do want to uh, get a little higher on my trophies. Uh, the problem is is uh, if we look at my battle log, um, did we just lose that? I think we did. So we just lost that last one. Uh, I should have paid attention to the crusher. But like this guy, he was a Builder Hall 5. Um, this guy was also a Builder Hall 5, I believe, as well. Um, he just didn't have the... Uh, the hero yet um, and then that might have been a builder hall f no he was a builder hall 5 as well um, and then victory and then builder hall 5 again so all of the ones that I get like less than 60 percent they're usually builder hall 5s and they're just really hard to go against those extra defenses to get um, a 50 percent star and then if they like if they're an experience ex you know, if they're this low on trophies, I wouldn't say they're experienced um, Builder Hall 5. Uh, but uh, they, if they can place troops good enough where their tanks are in front at Builder Hall 5, they can trump my base and uh, I'll have nothing left. 
Uh, I don't want to donate anything because I don't have any. Uh, well, I might have a rage. I'll go ahead and donate a rage. Um, so uh, you saw my troops there. I'm kind of doing some weird uh, uh, Volk hog. Um, I guess go Govaho. All right, it's what it was called. I can't remember what those things are. Uh, um, just for uh, trophy pushing, it's um, it's kind of a uh, not all in attack. It's just go for the dark elixir while pushing up trophies, and it's been working out so far. I was doing um, a mix with a uh, a mix with a hound and loons. Well, anyways, let's hop into our next battle, um, and I'll gym that, and let's hop into it. So this one is a, a Builder Hall 5. Um, the mortar is there, as we can see. However, the mortar is under construction, which will help us out. So um, I will probably go three giants again. This time, let's not put them towards the crusher. So the crusher's over here, so let's just place them down over here. Now, he probably wants me to place them down over here. Um, my throat's a little scratchy, I can see. Um, so maybe... Uh, if we place a archer there, an archer there, and kind of get a funnel, and then I want to play them where they won't run into a trap, but I think they're going to run into a trap right there. Oh, they didn't, so that, that worked out fine, actually. So let's go ahead and um, save two archers, um, just to see how this attack goes. So far, it's been good, and, and we just... Um, triggered one of his giant bombs, but I believe Builder Hall 4 gets two giant bombs, so that will be a disadvantage to us. Um, those archers are going good over there. Um, I will need to probably place these two archers down somewhere. Let's just place them down right there to help get some percentage. Um, and then the Tesla is going to pop over there, so they'll, they'll get two buildings. So overall, for a Builder Hall 5 attack um, attack against the Builder Hall 5, I th I'd say this attack went pretty well. If their mortar was active and not under construction, which I believe was their mistake, you don't want to attack with your defenses being upgraded. He probably would have won that. Um, the mortar does really good against giants when they're bundled up, and it, it obliterates. Uh, and we still lost by 1%, which is disappointing. Um, and, and so it's like attacks like that. It's like that... I may have been able to do something to get better percent if I was lucky. Maybe if I put an archer somewhere to clean something up. But, uh, it, and, and that's what it's kind of been like uh, recently. I don't know what it is. Like, I made it all the way to 2,000 trophies. Um, and then all of a sudden, I ran into all of these Builder Hall 5s. And I was like, I don't know what's going on. Is it just how the algorithm's working out? Maybe I won so many, the matchmaking is putting me against these Builder Hall 5s because it thinks I'm better. Maybe I should use my clock tower instead, Jim. But let's hop into another one. And let's see if we can get, uh, get a victory. Um, let's see. So this one is an active mortar. Um, maybe I'll have to start uh, just losing some trophies if I want to make a video with you guys on this. I don't know. Um, I want a good attack against this. Now, with this mortar being active, I don't like using giants against the uh, Builder Hall 5s uh, just because of how hard it is. So I might just go all archers, try to get a 50% uh, at least. Um, I don't know yet because there might be a spring trap in there. Um, I am thinking about what I want to do. I'm thinking, uh, maybe I'll just do three giants and the rest archers, and the archers are just going to pick off some buildings. Uh, maybe I should have done barbarians to help pick off buildings. And then uh, an archer can pick that off. And then these three giants, I'm just hoping they don't run into a spring trap. And then we'll back them up right here with archers and then we can have another archer clean that building up probably and then get some more archers in there and hopefully the mortar up oh, the mortar I shouldn't have placed those archers the mortar did target those archers and so all those archers are down maybe I should have attacked with just all archers and went for 50% because with all archers on a builder hall 5 you can usually get 50% with 24 archers you just circle it around the base I do a complete circle, and it gets you about 50%, which I still would have won 61%. So again, it 
Uh, maybe I need to figure out how I can attack Builder Hall 5 when, as a Builder Hall 4. Because that's, that is putting me at a disadvantage. Um, however, if you look, those Builder Hall 5s that we're going against, they're, they're not even coming near uh, 100% on my base. So I think my base is set up pretty nicely. Um, however, you know, the Builder Hall 3 that we went against, if we would have played that a little more, we probably would have been able to at least get a high 80%, and we would have won that match. Um, and unfortunately, you know, he's he's attacking better than the Builder Hall 5s are. And I think that's why the Builder Hall 5s are as low as they are. Um, maybe I just need to figure out how to address their bases. I'm going to do one last attack because I would like to get um, a victory in. So I like this base. Um, this base is actually fairly difficult for me to go against and fairly difficult for a lot of people to go against as well. Um, if you have any suggestions on how to go against this base or know how to 3-star, let me know. What I've been doing is I would attack from this end with my giants and put a wall breaker there. And that would kind of get me to the town hall fairly quickly. Um, I don't know if that's what I want to do here. I think it will be what I do. Um, and then I can save some giants towards the end. Maybe do uh, total six giants. Um, I'll go ahead and try it out. Um, I, I normally only do three giants and the rest archers and wall breakers at the end. But I'm going to try something new with you guys on camera. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea. So let's try something new here. It is a fairly difficult base. Um, so let's see. We're going to want an archer there to pick that off and an archer there to pick that off. And then you have to be quick when you place this. So you place the giant and then you place the wall breakers. And then you place the other giants. And I'm going to save two giants. Are those giants really going to walk all the way around? Um, that would piss me off. Um, so now let's place the archers down. All of them. And I want these last two giants to attack these defenses down here. Because that um, we might need one more over there actually. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll save this last one there. Because that crusher is going to take it out. And so... Uh, maybe we can get further by placing that giant down there at the bottom. Um, and let's see how far they can get. Those bombers are pretty strong. Uh, I do wish their AI targeted more than just the, the walls. Um, so, I mean, overall, I'd say this attack was good. Um, it was okay. Um, the experience that I have with just three giants and the extra archers seems to be better because I've usually gotten like 70% on this type of base so I think that's what I'm just gonna stick with on this base so far unless you guys have some better ideas um, maybe this archer will pick us up. Oh, no I thought that archer would be able to pick us up another one and so let's see here we tied uh, <laughs> I guess we'll end on a tie um, I, I Ultimately, I've been struggling getting the wins just going against the Builder Hall 5s. I'd be here grinding and grinding and grinding, and then all of a sudden I start winning again. And I can finally get back up to 2,000 trophies. I've kind of swayed anywhere from 600 to, I mean, 1,600 to 2,000 trophies right now. Um, I want to max out my uh, Crusher, and I want to, I believe it's the Air Bombs as well. I think those are the only two things I have left to max out. And then um, maybe if I can get my baby dragons maxed out, we can start using those too against the uh, Builder Hall 4s that we go against. Um, this one guy, he, th um, I think one of the few times that I was 3 crowned at 100% was with all baby dragons. And they were level 7, and I was surprised with how strong they were. They even were able to go and take down the, the air bombs, which was... Um, so it was pretty impressive. Uh, the... Uh, Firecrackers are really weak against baby dragons. The only true uh, true savior is the air bombs. So uh, when I get to that point where I'm going against baby dragons, maybe I'll move my air bombs closer to the middle. But like, right now, I like the crusher being in the center because if it's towards one of the sides, then they'll just attack from the other side. And I know you can play your, place your traps. However, when you place your traps all on the other side, then they... They happen to have that one miracle attack where they put a bunch of archers down on that crusher and then they three crown you. So right now I kind of just want to stick with this. I, I like the open gap there. It, um, 
it either a diverts them from attacking from over there and because they think that there are um, traps there um, or b a lot of times people put that there to make you think of traps and so i put the traps there anyway so it's like ah, you know the traps work out fine um there as well uh the you got the mega mine there um because i mostly had a lot of people attacking from the side with the barbarians and so they hit that mega mine and it's like oh 20 percent for you and uh 50 for me thank you so much um, but anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, you guys, and I just wanted to let you guys know that my kids, uh, they're enjoying Texas, and they're having fun with my gra um, their grandma and my mother-in-law. Um, let me go ahead and uh, see what I can do on Clash of Clans, but uh, you y'all have a wonderful, uh, wonderful day, and sorry about not uploading recently, um, but y'all have, uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. Thanks.